Hey guys, uh, so today I'm going to be talking about the Sigma 75 to 210 millimeter lens. Uh, it's 3.5 to 4.5. I'll be telling you uh, everything you need to know about this lens before you consider buying it. So let's talk about the pros first. Uh, the first pro with this lens I have is definitely that it's very cheap. You can uh, pick it up on eBay for 30 euros. Now vintage lenses are usually cheap, but not 30 euros cheap. Uh, you will need an adapter. I have the one from uh, KNF Concept. It cost me 30 euros, I think. So uh, it's not that much of a price if you will be shooting more vintage lenses. I have three, so it's definitely worth the cost. Uh, another thing I love about this lens is how sharp it is. Uh, now it won't reach Tamron level sharpness, but uh, when shooting on f8 and if you know your way around the manual focus ring, it will definitely be as sharp, if not sharper, than for example my 16 to 50 millimeter Sony kit lens. The uh, build quality on this lens is absolutely amazing. Now, a lot of people say that vintage lenses are built to last, and you can definitely see that back in this lens. Uh, I think it's made of some kind of metal. Uh, the only plasticky things here are the covers, uh, the sun cover, the aperture ring, and uh, the manual focus ring has some kind of rubber thing on top of it for more grip. It's really nice. So there's two more things I want to talk about in this section. Uh, the first thing is the colors out of the lens. Now, uh, the colors are a bit warmer than you might be used to, but uh, I like the colors nonetheless. Uh, the other thing that you get a case with most of uh, the lenses you can buy on eBay, and I like that because you have something to protect your lens when you're traveling, for example. Uh, now let's talk about the cons on this lens. Now, uh, the biggest problem I got with this lens is this. I absolutely hate lens creep. I was trying to do some bird photography a few days ago, and uh, there's this tree in front of my house, which looks good when you're shooting on 135 millimeters. And uh, when I lowered my camera, it went all the way to 210 millimeters, and I had to focus as well as adjust my focal length. So I missed a few shots because of that. Uh, so all the way open at 3.5, the lens has a, a significant amount of chromatic aberrations. Uh, now this isn't a big problem for me because I like to shoot at f8 when the lens is at its sharpest. Uh, yeah, and there's no uh, chromatic aberrations then at all. And uh, at f5.6, uh, they're barely noticeable even when cropping the image. Another small problem I have with this lens is that you will be probably buying it on eBay uh, and you may get a faulty lens, a lens with fungus or other defects. Now I got very lucky and my lens came in the best state it uh, could be in, but not everyone is so lucky on eBay. Uh, now, overall, I really like this lens, especially for the price I uh, paid for it. Uh, this has even become my go-to lens. Uh, I use it a lot more than my Sony 16-50. to uh, The lens has a standard vintage zoom uh, range, uh, and it's a pretty fast lens, albeit with a bit of chromatic aberrations, which you could fix in post. Uh, the focus ring is very nice. Minimal focus distance is 1.5 meters in normal mode. And then uh, if you're at 210 millimeters, you can go all the way uh, to one meter. Uh, this lens uh, is multi-coated. It has a 52 millimeter filter thread. You'll probably get it with a uh, sun cover. So uh, that's really all I have to say with this lens. I hope you enjoyed this review. I have a few more lenses I want to do a review about, also my new microphone. So uh, subscribe if you want to see them. Goodbye.